Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Petra and Patrick need to sell their house to get their kids into a new school. It is frustrating that we haven't sold the property. But buyers can't get past the eclectic decor. It's a little frightening. It's like they're watching you. It was terrifying. <laughs> I wanted everything to be a little bit scary. With a budget of $5,000 and some clever staging and design tricks, it's better to keep things simple and neutral. I'm going to transform this unsellable house into one that sells. That's so good. Home is where the heart is and a place to make your own, unless you plan on selling. And that means putting the personal away. Downtown Savannah, Georgia is a historic community teeming with stylish attractions. Historic homes here are novel, full of character and in high demand. Except for this house. This 3,200 square foot, four bedroom, two and a half bath home listed at $650,000 has been on the market for seven months. Petra and Patrick are two artists who purchased this home five years ago. Petra and I love to take old houses and uh, renovate them, make them new. So we decided that we wanted to come in and, and take this house and, and make it beautiful again. However, once the family grew, with the addition of three-year-old Mia and five-year-old son Ryder, upkeep on this large home became a daunting task. It is frustrating that we haven't sold the property. It's been on the market for quite a long time, and I think that we have a beautiful property here. It's a beautiful home, but it might not be for everybody. <laughs> Could Petra's unique design choices be at fault? Petra's taste is unusual, I guess, on some points. I just like strange things. Maybe that's a little bit of me. Maybe I'm strange. <laughs> she might have gone a little bit overboard in some of the decorations and what she did. I guess what it is, it's almost like the artist in me, I think. You know, you want people to stop and look at stuff. It's, it's like theatrical, almost. Love that. With the couple anxious to move before the start of the new school year, they're somewhat ready for some radical changes to this unsellable home. Petra and I have made our home the way that we like it. For Sophie to come in and change the way that looks is a little bit difficult for us to swallow, I think. Since ultimately the goal is for us to sell our home, we have to change a lot of things in order for that to happen. This is an absolutely beautiful Victorian house downtown, but it's been on the market for seven months, so I'm guessing the problems are gonna be on the inside. Are you quite frustrated? Yeah, it's definitely been a lot of frustration. So what would be excellent if I could take a tour and you just show me around and then we can see what the problems are? Sure, that sounds great. Great. So obviously Victorian. That's kind of what I was going for. The paint color. Dark. Dark. Yeah. I'm definitely the one to blame for the colors. <laughs> <laughs> Did you buy these pictures? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to keep a Victorian feel in right. the house. That's why I wanted everything to be kind of old uh -huh. and maybe a little bit scary. Old and scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that sells houses. <laughs> so what's through here? Uh, this is the parlor. Again, is this your paint choice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard, you know, when I picked the stripes first, mm -hmm. then yeah. I was really stuck with trying to match everything else through the house to yeah. make it more like a flow. Because of that, of course, it got dark. It did. Is very Victoriana. Wow, who is he? That's Mikey. Mikey. Yeah. Tell me about Mikey. He was a birthday present uh -huh. from Patrick. She said, you know, wouldn't it be great to have, you know, <laughs> uh, animal head? And so I thought, well, I'll, I'll play the game and I'll go along. OK. Yeah. I have, a, I have a secret to tell you. I also have a boar's head that I was given as a wedding present from my brother-in-law. <laughs> His name's Tommy, and he is at the top of the stairs. Excellent. And he even has a hat. Oh, wow. wow. So I, I understand, <laughs> but I think some buyers might be less thrilled by the dead animals. Mikey might scare a few people off. <laughs> Talking about scary, whoa, what is this? <laughs> oh, it's a decapitated. Yeah, she's got a limb or two missing. <laughs> she is terrifying. Oh, look, she moves. As... She does move. <laughs> I know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is she doing here? 
We actually got those mostly to use for painting props when we oh, make yeah. artwork. Okay. But then I thought that she fit in pretty well. Are you trying to purposely scare buyers? <laughs> it's like, welcome to the creepy. <laughs> so again, a little on the dark side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like a plumish dark. Tell you what, I would not eat a plum if it was this colour. Because <laughs> <laughs> it would have been off many years ago. <laughs> Patrick, is that you in a bath? Uh, it is. That's uh, one of my first paintings I did for uh, grad school. It is beautiful. Problem is, is they always say when you're selling a house, you should try and depersonalise a bit. Right. And I think that probably includes the semi-naked pictures of the homeowners. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> maybe, maybe. A formal dining room, excellent. I'm guessing this is a Petra paint choice. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> it's interesting what you were saying before about the flow and the paint colour. You have achieved that, and the paint colours do actually complement each other. They're just very, very dark. Yeah. What is that? Oh, our door stopper. That is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> but it works. It, well, it does work. It's, See, it keeps the door open. So. To be fair, it's a very effective door stop. <laughs> it's it also is. great for when we're sitting here eating dinner to scare the kids into finishing their vegetables. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is not just a property show, it's also a parenting <laughs> show. Oh, wow, this is a fabulous house. But we, we need to make it a bit more modern, I think, and a bit less scary. <laughs> Houses in this neighborhood are selling for between $235,000 and $600,000. Petra and Patrick's at $650,000 is on the high end and needs a show much better to beat out the competition. The couple's realtor, Don, knows what the couple's up against. They have not been willing to remove all the artwork or change the colors in the house, and it's extremely frustrating for me, especially because I feel like the house is outstanding and uh, it's a very saleable house. I've asked Don to hold an open house to see what potential buyers think. Oh. Oh. Dark. I can't stand the colors. For being such a big space with tall ceilings, you kind of expect to have more light. The furniture is too heavy, and they make it just kind of close in on me. Kind of like a setting of a haunted house, a horror movie flick. It's a little frightening. Dolls are creeping me out. <laughs> well, it's like they're watching you. They have a lot of stuff. The art is very distinctive. <laughs> Unique. <laughs> Unique. <laughs> I could, you know, do without the boars, too. Yeah. <laughs> With the drapes on the windows, the paint colors, and a lot of the personal stuff around the house, it's distracting to buyers. It's not moving ready. There's yeah. painting. Yeah, there's a, a good bit of painting that's left here, for sure. You want to just be able to walk in? Yeah, and yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. The buyer expects the house to be moving ready. It's going to take a lot of effort and time and even money to change what's in the house now. Well, we had some very useful feedback from the open house. One of the first things they commented on was the dark colours, which mm -hmm. is to be expected. Yeah. They thought it would take quite a lot of work to repaint it, and they thought that the colours made the room feel a bit smaller. Yeah. They found the babies a bit creepy. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you admitted that you use them to scare your children, so... <laughs> <laughs> you can't be surprised that other people might find them scary. Yeah. yeah. We got a lot of comments on the taxidermy. Taxidermy is very cool at the moment, but some people don't like it. So I think if it's, they're taken down, then you're not going to scare anyone away. The thing is, is if they'd said things that you can't change, you know, I would feel, like, depressed by it. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, the bones of this house are sublime. All we need to do is take away some of the more zany bits, take down some of the artwork, and put brighter colours in, and this house is going to sell itself. Whatever's going to help sell our house. Excellent. We're all for it. Yeah. I have a total budget of $5,000 and a lot of ideas on how to get this house sold. Starting in the entryway, we'll paint over the dark stripes and add a new light fixture to brighten the space. Subtle art, simple blinds and a new carpet runner will give it a tidy, streamlined appearance. The parlour will get an airier look with a subdued blue colour and contemporary chandelier. The furniture will get a facelift and be repositioned for better flow. New art and accessories will broaden the appeal of the room. The living room will have a similar colour palette of cool pastels. I'll add a sideboard and reposition the furniture to balance the room. Slip covers will add some extra colour and new lamps and accessories will add warmth. The dining room will have similar colours on the walls, also brightened with new lighting. 
the area rug will introduce yellow and green to separate this room from the others. Bright accessories will also enhance the space. I think they're ready to make the changes, so it should be an exciting couple of days. I think Patrick and Petra took the feedback from potential buyers quite well. They realised that we need to make these changes if we're going to get this house sold. Bye-bye, Mikey. I might even have to say that this one is borderline scary. What do you think of these dolls? Do you think they're pretty? Or do you think they're scary? No. no. <laughs> See, you do, a little bit. Let's put them in the box. Let's, Let's put them in the box. Excellent. With the scary dolls and taxidermy out of the way, the crew can get down to work. In the meantime, I'm sending Petra and Patrick to see a house that sold quickly in their neighbourhood to help them better understand what buyers are looking for. This 2300 square foot house has three bedrooms and three and a half baths. It sold for $530,000 after five months on the market. Oh, this is different. It's bright. Our house looks quite dark compared to this. It's nice. It's just a different feel than I think what we're used to and what we appreciate. I don't know if I'm willing to give up the boar's head yet. <laughs> <laughs> this area here, segue between the living room and the dining room is nice. It's a little smaller than ours because they don't actually have a separate dining room like yeah. we do. So, but they still use the space really well. You can go upstairs. Yeah. This is cute. Oh. I like it. Nice colors and uh, pretty simple. This artwork is pretty neat. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah. I love our house and what we have in it, but this definitely yeah. feels more appealing to more people. If we could change the colors and do some things a little bit differently and sell it just like these people did, uh, that, I think that'd be great. The striped walls are going to take a lot of work to paint over. The gold color was painted on top of the burgundy walls, and tape was used to make sure that the lines were straight, which is great, but it left little ridges that now need to be sanded so that the walls are completely smooth before we paint over them. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Hey. Good. How are you? Very good. Wow. It's really empty. A I know. A lot of space. A lot of space. But the weirdest thing is that it looks darker, the paint, now that everything's been taken out, which I don't entirely understand. Yeah. But, um, so tell me about the comparable house. Was it amazing? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think made it sell? The colours seemed to match pretty well in the house. Was it painted dark colours or light colours? It's definitely light colours. Yeah. 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 I think if you painted your house similar colours to the comparable house, you would be amazed at the immediate effect. Yeah, I agree. Great. Yeah. Excellent. Well, I think what we should do now is get you into some work clothes because I've got some projects for okay. you. Okay. Right. Thank you. A massive paint job is underway. Meanwhile, Patrick's building a frame for an art piece I've commissioned from the couple. Sophie had mentioned before that some of our artwork was a little too personal and intense to be able to be on display in the house. After talking to Patrick, we came up with the idea of doing something a little more contemporary and abstract as well. The work is different than what we would normally do, but I think nonetheless it's very interesting. I love this big grand hallway. Yeah, it is very nice, I must say. But I do think buyers will think it's going to take forever to paint it. Painting high walls can be intimidating for most people, but I was able to utilize an extension pole to make light work of a very high wall. I think a lot of people like the dark wainscoting. I think sometimes you can paint it, but this isn't in bad condition. I like the color of it. Oh, for sure. By painting the upper walls light, we can maintain the historical feel of the house by keeping the wainscoting natural dark. And who better to paint it than two experienced painters? <laughs> you're doing a great job. Thank you. OK. If you're not an artist, you can find generic art at home decor stores. But Petra and Patrick love to create, so they're working on a piece to hang in the dining room. Hey, how are you? I'm very well. So what's this? It's a photograph that I took, and I transformed it in a computer program. No, I think it's going to look absolutely beautiful, and it's exactly what we want because it's colourful, but it's not too personal. It's going to take a little while, yeah. but um, <laughs> I, uh, I will get there. I, I think know. it's going to look fab. Have you ever painted a chair before? Yeah. yeah. No, you haven't. You dip the brush in like this, and then go crazy. Careful, remember, only a little bit of paint. It's dripping. Oh, no, drip. You don't actually need that much paint, do you? 
Right. Yes. This might require a standing job. <laughs> it's kind of a distressed look. Here, let <laughs> me do this. There we go. Look at that. Well, thanks for today. I thought it was great, and I'm really excited about seeing the art projects on the wall. And thank you guys for your help painting. You were brilliant. <laughs> But uh, we still got a bit of a way to go, haven't we, we David? We have a lot of walls to paint yet. Okay. So if you wouldn't mind leaving and then coming back for the big reveal. Sounds right. good. Bye, guys. Okay, bye. bye. We'll okay, see you guys bye. later. Bye. bye. With the family gone, our crew has lots of work ahead, starting with contemporizing the Victorian furniture. Victorian furniture has a lot of carved detail that you really want to maintain when you're painting it. By using a sprayer, we can apply multiple thin, even coats of paint, but avoid having paint collect in those fine grooves of detail. Carpenter's woodwork should always be preserved. Slip covers are an absolute lifesaver. They're a cheap and easy way of updating old furniture to fit in with our new design scheme. We're painting and priming the sliding doors to match in with the new colour scheme and create a flow right through to the kitchen. We did a number of projects in this house. First we painted, after that we did some painting and followed it all up by a little more painting. I'm painted out. By lightening it up, it drew the eyes to the ceiling, made the rooms feel bigger and made some continuity throughout the entire house. The family will be back soon, so it's time to put on the finishing touches. The red and gold stripes were a very bold design choice, but when you're decorating your house for sale, it's better to keep things simple and neutral. Inexpensive accessories can have a big impact on staging. These cushions help to fuse the contemporary and antique elements of this room. Buyers thought that the red velvet on this sofa made this room feel like a funeral parlour, which is not a good look, but with a simple reupholstery job, we brought it bang up to date. Petra and Patrick's new artwork is the perfect example of what you want to hang on your walls when you're selling. It's bright, it's beautiful, but it's not too intense and in your face. There is generic art available for all budgets. This light fixture is a masterclass in combining the contemporary with the traditional. Because buyers like period details like the ceiling rows, but they also like updated fixtures. Very different. Before, the entryway gave an underwhelming first impression, but we've improved its appeal to buyers with light paint and streamlined neutral artwork. I'm afraid the red and gold paint. I know, <laughs> it looks so good. Plants are really, really nice. I love this. What do you think of this new color? This is beautiful and it really makes the wood look even prettier. Love these lights, those are awesome. Very, very nice. Excellent, well come on through. Wow. It's a bit of a difference. It is. It's much, really pretty. The parlour looked like a spooky museum, but now it's bright and cheery with new colours and art that are more broadly appealing to buyers. This new layout maximises the space in the seating area. The furniture, this chair is really great. I mean, I love the blues. This, I think, is, looks fantastic. It's amazing that that's the same couch from that red and gold Victorian couch. The color is beautiful. It's like a lavender. It definitely has much more of an open feel, for sure. It's not as closed in. Welcome to your new bright sitting room. Wow. Before, this sitting room looked gloomy and uninviting. So we updated it with neutral pastels that buyers will prefer. I added lamps to brighten the room and show how this can be a comfortable reading area when the TV's off. I would have never thought of putting lights behind a couch. It looks really, really good. We took down some of the artwork and replaced it with these pictures of crumbling plaster. Look at this. 
hard project with Mia and Ryder, yeah. <laughs> and actually it looks very cool. When Mia was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, this is not never That's paint with cute. children. That's, That's great. very nice. I love it. Great space, nice. and we still have the TV. Yes, you've, you still have the TV, so this is obviously still a family room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you all want to sit on the sofa, you might have to take some of the pillows <laughs> off. <laughs> That's a lot of pillows. With the way the house looks right now, I think it's going to appeal to so many more people walking through the door. We're definitely excited to see um, what comes next. We're excited for the next people to come in and see the house and hear their comments on what they think of the house. Welcome to your new dining room. Oh my gosh, wow. look! <laughs> The dining room put buyers off with overly personal art and eccentric decor, but now it's perfect for any family to enjoy because of its more everyday style. Are we having dinner? <laughs> yes, apparently so. It looks really good. Oh, there's our painting. Yeah. yeah. Look, I love this, by the way. I think this is absolutely beautiful. It works so well in here. It really does. The room does feel more like a dining room now. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, like way more. We want people to imagine themselves in this space. And yeah. look, come here, look back. I know. No. Beautiful. Really, really, really pretty. Better mm -hmm. look. Oh, what, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? I am offended. <laughs> I know. That decapitated baby had to go. You try. <laughs> it's, it's an owl. It's close enough, and it doesn't still have big, scary eyes. It's in the eyes. Uh, yeah. the kids. See, it has a face. Yes. Yeah. But it's just not a decapitated doll's head. I think that we're very optimistic that, that the next few showings and when the people see the house are going to be very impressed with what they see. And I think the things that could have been changed have been changed. And so we're, we're very positive with our outlook now. The whole house works, and I'm, I'm very excited. And I really think this house will just fly. I think the house is going to sell fast. I really do. I think the next person that walks through that house is going to want to buy it. Now it's time for the final verdict from potential buyers. I think it's moving ready. It's really pretty. It's bright. It's cheery. It's welcoming. It has a lot of square footage. And I think that the way it looks maximizes that. It's all open. There's a good flow to it can actually appreciate the sidings, the wood trims, the real feel of this old, beautiful mansion. The idea of being able to get in somewhere without having it be a hobby or a project is very appealing.